A very good morning. Assalamu alaikum and ihaw. It is my distinct pleasure this morning to welcome the Chinese delegation to Bangladesh for the fourth Yunnan Bangladesh Forum 2015. It was four years ago that we together with our good friends and colleagues in the Yunnan government and YDRC started this journey of building cooperation between Yunnan and Bangladesh. Since then, we have been able to hold a number of dialogues and forums, both in Kunming and in Dhaka, Bangladesh. As you know that Bangladesh and China enjoy special relationships. It's a relationship of friendship, it's a relationship of shared history, a relationship of shared civilizational links, and a deep understanding that transcends beyond friendship into strategic partnership. It is therefore extremely important for us in Bangladesh that we grow a deeper understanding of our relationship and friendship with our partners in China and the people of China. We deeply remember with gratitude the help and friendship that was extended to Bangladesh since our independence in 1971. And we continue to nurture our relationship that it matures into a ever deeper relationship of friendship and cooperation. With that aim in view, this forum has been organized this year in Bangladesh to discuss on some mutually beneficial issues that is on the table for discussion by both the Bangladeshi scholars and the visiting Chinese scholars from Yunnan. We have marked with admiration over the years the peaceful rise of China and its phenomenal development in all fields, not only in the economic area, but in all aspects of national development. We also see you with admiration as China peacefully rises, not only as a major regional power, but as a global power. Bangladesh, as a near neighbor of China, would also like to join in your rise, not only economically, but as you rise as a global power. We have therefore taken keen interest in your concept of Belt and Road, or the new Maritime Silk Road, which we consider to be a major stroke of international relations and strategy in which all nations along the road can benefit. We are therefore keen to have a better understanding so that we become a partner in this project. China has also been a major provider of infrastructure to Bangladesh. We therefore admire your effort in building the Asian Infrastructure Bank in which we also hope that we will someday play a play an active role as you build the bank forward. We also have seen with interest as your president elaborated his concept of the Chinese dream. And I think this is a dream that all nations aspire to have. We are therefore keen also to be part of all your endeavors in international arena that we can contribute to. We are keen to see a peaceful China playing an active international role, not only in Asia, but globally. Therefore, Bangladesh has had a very robust and a cooperative relationship with China in all fields of international relations. 
and I'm sure that relationship will be cemented further in the coming years. The deliberations that we make here this morning will be summarized and taken out as a Dhaka Declaration, which will be shared not only with academia and the think tank community, but with the governments in both countries. I'm sure that our deliberations and contributions in the thought process will make our humble contributions in our bilateral relationships. I would once again like to welcome you to Bangladesh and thank you for the time that you've taken to travel all the way from you now. And as we in Dhaka have a special bondage for Kunming, our two cities are twin cities. I not only hope that we have a fruitful discussion, but I also wish you that you have a pleasant stay in Bangladesh, a fruitful discussion in Dhaka, and a pleasant tour of Fox's Bazaar. So once again, friends, welcome to Bangladesh, and cheers, cheers. Thank you. So just by the chance, and uh, this is almost the Happy New Year time for 2016, and this is the end of the 2015. And let's just uh, look back, and also we we'll have to also look to the future. Uh, that is great that uh, upon the 40 years of the building, uh, establishment of the diplomatic relationship between China and uh, Bangladesh, I'm honored to just uh, take the lead to, uh, with my delegation to participate in this fourth, the Yunnan Bangladesh Forum. This机会呢，我请代表云南省人民政府发展研究中心的同仁，对本次会议的召开表示热烈的祝贺，向热情友好的孟加拉国朋友致以诚挚的问候和美好的祝愿，向长期以来为滇木合作做出贡献的各界人
，中国是孟加拉国最大的贸易伙伴。<笑> Where Bangladesh is a China's outstanding and、uh, under important cooperative partner in South Asia and also Indian Asian Ocean regions, China is the largest trading partner、uh, with Bangladesh. Yunnan and Mongolia have a long history of cooperation, 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 a long history of cooperation. 和孟加拉国的务实合作是我们的共同愿望，也是我们应尽的责任。With uniquely favorable neighbor lineages and long history of the cooperation, Yunnan province and Bangladesh have huge cooperation potential, potential and development prospects. It is also our common wishes, as well as a due responsibility, to constantly consolidate and promote our. Practical cooperation with the now is a new opportunity. And Yunnan and Bangladesh are facing a new opportunity for cooperation、uh, because we have gone through a lot of important international platforms such as Bangladesh. China Indian Myanmar Cooperative Forum, the China ASEAN Expo, and the Yunnan Bangladesh Cooperation Dialogue, Dialogue Forum. 近年来，滇孟的关系发展迅速，友好合作关系在两国政府的这个高度重视下得到长足发展，高层交往密切，政治互信不断深化，友好的民意基础不断增强。In recent years, the friendly cooperative relationship between Yunnan and Bangladesh. Has witnessed the rapid and substantial development as a priority for Chinese and the Bangladeshi governments. With with close exchanges among top leadership, increasingly deepened the political mutual trust and strengthened people-to-people -people friendship. 今年五月，昆明至孟加拉国首都达卡的国际货运航线顺利首发。大家可能已经感受到，近几年来我们彼此之间的来往就像走亲戚一样，自然方便、快捷。In May this year, the international cargo line from Kunming to Dhaka was opened, the capital of the Bangladesh, and it was put into operation. You may have sensed that recent years have we have seen that our contact has become more natural, convenient, and fast as paying visits to our relatives. 当前，和平、发展、合作、共赢是世界主要潮流。这股潮流为发展、为发展中国家的崛起创造了有利条件。云南省政府发展中心、孟加拉国和平与安全研究所应该顺应潮流发展，积极作为，推动滇缅、滇孟合作伙伴伙伴关系的迈上新台阶。要实现这一目标，互联互通是其中一个关键环节。Currently, the peace. Development and cooperation, the win-win, become the main trends of the world today's world, and it actually just represent a favorable conditions for the emergence of the developing countries. The YDRC of the Union People's Government and the VIPs from the Bangladesh actually should go with the trend and take positive actions and push forward our cooperative partnership to a new phase. The goal of which cannot be achieved without interconnectivity as a key linking of this process. 互联互通建设不仅是修路架桥的连通，呃，更应该是基础设施、制度规章、人员交往的连通，应该是政策沟通、设施联通、贸易畅通、资金融通、民心相通五大领域的齐头并进。The interconnectivity is not only based on the A road building and also the bridge, but also more importantly, it includes three-in-one development in infrastructure, regulations, and also the institutions, personnel exchange changes, and also we should have the five parallel advancements in the policy communication, facility connection, trade transportation, financial circulation, and people-to-people -people interaction. 云南省政府发展研究中心和孟加拉和平与安全研究所两大智库，要朝着构建全方位、立体化、网络状大联通的目标来来努力。The two think tanks 
That is, the YDRC from Yunnan and the BIPs from Bangladesh should aim at all around the stereo stick and also the network feature of connectivity. Also, by co coordinating the issues on the systems, policies, standards, and others that will affect interconnectivity, they will help uh, us to reduce the cost and time in cross border flow of personnel, communities, and capital on the real in Bangladesh. Kong Tzu said, The Chinese philosopher, uh, Mr. Confucius, as once said that at the age of 40, one begins to understand the world. And just let's come to the new era of the internationalization, and also with the 40th anniversary of the establishment of the China-Bangladesh diplomatic relations, the bilateral relationship is ex uh, uh, exemplary in terms of treating each other equally, peaceful uh, coexistence, and a reciprocal cooperation between countries of different social systems. We we should grasp this historical opportunity, deepen the connectivity and partnership, optimize infrastructure building in Yunnan and Bangladesh, and intensify the economic and trade cooperation to the to hear out a bright future for the bilateral cooperation and development. 经研究学生颠木合作对话论坛第四次会议提出，云南与孟加拉国的互联互通合作这个会议主题，参会的各位专家将围绕经贸合作的新展望，建立反激进与反恐战略合作，民间交流与合作议题来展开讨论。Through research and consultation, the top the major topic of the fourth session of the Yunnan Bangladesh Cooperation Dialogue. Uh, forum was finally decided upon the Yunnan Bangladesh Cooperation on interconnectivity and interworking. Experts present here today will hold talks upon new respects of the economic and trade cooperation, anti radical and anti terrorism, strategic cooperation, people to people communications, and other topics. Well, 特别是穆尼穆达曼所长的重要发言，这次会议一定能够开出新意，必将对落实两国最高领导人达成的共识，加强云南与孟加拉国互联互通，深化互利合作，做出贡献。I am confident that with the profound insights from our leaders, experts, and other representatives, particularly the important speech delivered by President Muni Zuzaman, this dialogue is ensured to carve out an innovative path to contribute to implement the consensus reached by top leaders from the two sides, strengthen the connectivity between Yunnan and Bangladesh, and deepen reciprocal cooperation. Finally, I wish to complete the success for the fourth session of the Yunnan Bangladesh Cooperation Dialogue for Green. May the friendship between China and Bangladesh continue to prosper. May and may all friends here happy and successful. We will now request the leader of the Chinese delegation and members of the delegation to please come forward to receive some tokens of our friendship and memento from the BIP side.
प्रेस था जाता है प्रेस था ना बॉर्डर
We will now start with the first working session and the chair of the session will be Professor Taufik M. Haq. He is a professor at the North South University in Bangladesh, which is Bangladesh's largest private university. So with that very brief introduction, Dr. Haq is your, the floor is yours. Please chair the session. Uh, <coughs> thank you, General uh, Zaman. Uh, <clears throat> very good morning and Assalamu alaikum everyone, especially our uh, delegation from UNAN and the other participants. Uh, before starting the session, I just uh, give a, a brief introduction of myself and also my institute and, uh, because there is some linkage with uh, UNAN <coughs> academic and civil society cooperation. So I'm teaching at this uh, private university and which also be holding the first Confucius Institute of Bangladesh. And uh, now we are having also a China Studies Center with a partnership of this Confucius Institute. And the program that I am running is basically <coughs> uh, is a regional master's program called Public Policy and Governance for the Civil Servants of Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka and Bhutan. And that's the one reason that I'm personally very much linked and interested to be part of this kind of the forum and activities. I'm also personally part of this China South Asia Think Tank Forum, which has been held every year in Yunnan. And because we have these students from these regional countries, especially Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Bhutan, uh, so we have lots of discussion and discourses within our course uh, about the China's role in economy development in this South Asian region. And uh, we have been engaged with uh, this kind of small-scale research with even uh, Union, Union Social Science Academy and also Union University. So that's a brief uh, introduction about my institution. And now also we are trying to have a cooperation with BIBS. Um, very lately we just uh, started some uh, dialogue and discussion. And uh, General Murray Zaman was our, one of the distinguished uh, guest lecturer recently in one of the seminars for our students and now we are planning to have some more cooperation with the IPS. So with this self uh, uh, brief introduction of myself and my institution, I do again welcome you all uh, to this first session uh, which is title is Belt and Road New Horizons for Trade and Cooperation. This is a beautiful uh, uh, winter morning in Dhaka. I'm sure you are enjoying the weather. It is different from Yunnan. The winter in Yunnan is much colder. Well, once I was there in February and it was a uh, real cold. So winter is no more there in real sense in Dhaka nowadays, but still. So we have a beautiful, nice morning today and I uh, hope that uh, this session will also be very productive and interactive. So we have uh, this issue called uh, this trade and cooperation. I'm not even though an economic expert, but uh, this trade and cooperation are becoming so vital issues nowadays for Bangladesh and our South Asian neighbors. And especially the roads are becoming so important issues. I was recently been in Bhutan and I was seeing that how these regional small countries are now uh, seeing the China's role in terms of building infrastructure all over the South Asian parts and also in Myanmar in other countries. So I hope that today's uh, these two lectures that we are going to have will uh, uh, give a very uh, <coughs> in-depth outlook about this whole topic. So the first uh, uh, presentation will be done by... So we, uh, maybe we can start with the uh, uh, first session from Bangladesh part. Um, Mr. Shohidul Islam, before I give him the floor, let me introduce him. Uh, him. Mr. Shohidul Islam is a research fellow at the Policy Research Institute of Bangladesh and Power and Participation Research Center. Prior to joining PRI and PPRC, Mr. Islam worked with the Union Academy of Social Science, UNMI, Rex, uh, Institute of Governance and Development, BIGD, Black University, Bangladesh, Institute of South Asian Studies, National University of Singapore and Institute of Southeast Asian Studies, Singapore. He is the convener of China Study Group, Bangladesh. Mr. Islam's research interests include open economy, uh, macroeconomics, economic governance, regionalism, and urban economics. He contributed to several book chapters published by uh, Palgrave Macmillan, 
रोकलेज कैम्ब्रिज इनिटी प्रेस अक्सफोर्ड इनिटी प्रेस एवं सदर्स His academic papers published by the international peer-reviewed journals, and he has published more than 50 working papers and policy notes. Mr. Islam presented papers at several international conferences and seminars. He regularly contributes opinion articles to different local and international newspapers. And Mr. Islam also consulted the World Bank, DFID, and other. Uh, donor agencies. Uh, he completed his master's in economics from National University of Singapore and a bachelor degree in the same discipline from the University of Chicago. And he has a keen interest in history and cricket. I now welcome Mr. M. Shoyul Islam to give his presentation. and YDRC for giving me the opportunity to speak at the uh, Bangladesh Union Forum. This is not the first time, not the second time, in fact, for the third time I will be speaking at the forum. So I'm very thankful to Gibbs and YDRC. Uh, <coughs> as you know that uh, <coughs> Belt and Road is considered very uh, <coughs> traditional uh, undertaking. Uh, which is uh, promoted by Beijing and supported by many countries along the Belt and Road in Asia, Europe, and Africa. So <clears throat> in this session, actually, um, while we talk about uh, broad canvas of Belt and Road, as you know, that is a huge undertaking geographically, but our focus will be confined more in, in BCIM area involving Bangladesh, China, India, and Myanmar. <coughs> and also, uh, I mean, given the uh, circumstances, uh, both in regionally and globally, we are seeing the emergence of mega trading block and bypassing many countries within neighborhoods. Uh, that we need to talk about, uh, you know, the bilateral issues that just uh, so. Uh, that's it. I mean, uh, here's the outline of my presentation. I will be uh, briefly uh, talk, talking about the. Uh, Trade relations, what are the current trend and what can be the uh, near term projections based on some uh, economics data. Uh, then I talk about investment, uh, particularly what are the economic imperatives and what are the geopolitical challenges uh, Bangladesh faces in growing Chinese investment. Uh, as you know, in our previous forum, we gave a lot of emphasis on trade and connectivity. Uh, even in the Kunming uh, dialogue we had last year, we focused on industrial cooperation and connectivity. But this time, uh, <coughs> given the um, uh, you know the changing scenario, we are focusing on uh, in this lecture more on financial issues uh, because my argument is to you know materialize uh, this uh, you know uh, uh, infrastructure, uh, board development, and so forth. We need huge investment and how to draw the investment. So we have a, uh, I, I have some, uh, you know, the mechanism and other things that are emerging both from China and in the, in the region, including uh, from Kunming, I have uh, laid down these issues. And of course, we can't actually ignore connectivity. We keep, need to keep talking on this. But in this lecture, I will focus more on, uh, you know, the border city cooperation. I had the uh, opportunity to visit what's happening in China-Myanmar border. And based on my experience, I will try to shed light uh, what Bangladesh and Yunnan can do uh, to open an alternative route connecting through Myanmar. So let us begin with trade. As you can see, uh, that uh, uh, <coughs> over the years, China Bangladesh trade has increased tremendously. The red line shows China Bangladesh trade, and the blue line shows. Uh, Bangladesh India trade. So India used to be our number one trading partner, but you can see that for the last uh, 
10 years, there is a big jump. Particularly for the last five years, there is a huge uh, uh, you know, the jump in China on this trade. You can see from the red line. But uh, this trade is uh, you know, heavily driven by imports from China. So it's a, a sort of one-way trade. Uh, as we speak, we, have, uh, we, we import about 11 to 12 billion uh, dollar worth of goods, and, uh, goods from China. But we only export about 700 million, not even 1 billion uh, US dollar worth of trade to China. So there are uh, some projections I have done. I mean, uh, till 2015, you have the actual, actual share of Chinese import. Uh, sorry, Bangladesh's imports from China. You can see that uh, every hundred dollars we spend for imports, thirty dollars goes to China. So you can see the uh, see the trade relationship. How how important for us to source various products from China. However, if you look at this graph, when you look at the totality of trade, both export and import, but here is not that high. But it's still, about uh, I would say eighteen percent of uh, Bangladesh's total trade, uh, you know, the Chinese share is about 18% in Bangladesh's total uh, trade. And my projection shows that by end of 2020, it would be about 22%. That uh, is, uh, uh, however, as I said, that it is highly dominated by import. As you can see that now, we, our uh, Chinese share in Bangladesh's export is 30%, which is going to be uh, over 40% by end of this decade, if the current trend continues. So based on this, I have done some projections. I mean, uh, what would be the scenario? We have the data till 2014. But what will happen in 2015, 16, uh, I mean, in the BF Trump outlook, what we call? So we have two projections. The blue line shows if business as usual scenario continues. That means the kind of trade relation we have seen in the last 10 years, if we take average, annual average, which is about um, 20, uh, I mean, about 15 to 20 percent, I would say. In the last 10 years, uh, uh, sorry, last five years, export has been over 40 percent. Import, uh, import growth has been over 20 percent in, in, in the world. So, if business as usual grow, uh, trend continues, you can expect at the end of this decade, China Bangladesh trade would be about 40 billion US dollars. However, uh, you know that uh, I mean the, uh, when it comes to uh, you know, economic projection, we don't take only one scenario. We, we need to take uh, you know a couple of scenarios. So red line, dotted red line shows the Bangladesh's average, I mean the trade growth, export and import growth, rest of the world, including China. So as you can see, that growth with China has been much faster than Bangladesh's growth with the rest of the world. So even if we take a you know moderate scenario. You can see at the end of 2020, about 28 to 29 billion trade uh, figure would be, uh, you know, uh, between China and Bangladesh. So th these are some huge numbers, whichever scenario you you uh, you take. So let us uh, focus on, uh, you know, Yunnan Bangladesh. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, very updated data on Yunnan Bangladesh. And another uh, issue I'd like to mention here is that. When you look at Bangladesh-China trade, for example, if you if you look for 2014 figure, Bangladesh government source would be about nine to ten billion, but international source would be about twelve to thirteen billion. The difference between these two figures is under invoicing. Our smart businessman, you know, when they open LC, uh, out, say for example, out of hundred dollar, they send uh, seventy dollar through banks, and other thirty dollar is sent by uh, in other means. So that's why there is a discrepancy in the trade numbers. Uh, but our trade with Iran is still is still very low. I mean, we have 2013 data, which is only 130. Uh, sorry, there is a typo. It's only 130 million US dollars. Uh, but uh, as our uh, Chinese friend told that there are huge potential of uh, Yunnan to Bangladesh trade. And some of the things, of course, uh, there is a need for a, uh, direct connectivity. Again, what needs to be done, we will discuss in the connectivity section in a while. Then I, I have been uh, very fortunate to attend all the China South Asia Expo that uh, Yunnan province has organized in Kunming. And this is an excellent platform to showcase Bangladeshi and other South Asian products in Yunnan province. But we also need uh, similar reciprocity that Yunnan businesses, uh, you know, having more presence in Bangladesh. So we encourage that. I mean, um, 
business communities or uh, various companies showcase their products in Bangladeshi trade fair, Dhaka International Trade Fair, uh, there is a trade fair in Chittagong. In fact, we try to convince uh, the Chinese uh, government to be one of the team countries, uh, sorry, one the team countries last year in uh, China trade fair. So. Uh, I, I hope that uh, France from Iran will take the note that uh, they should, uh, you know, uh, be uh, you know, attending more and more trade fair, fairs in Bangladesh so that they can showcase their products. Uh, and, and the current trend that we see that uh, more and more uh, fairs are happening in Kunming, this will continue. And, and, and we also have a sister city cooperation mechanism involving Chittagong and Kunming. Uh, I would suggest that uh, uh, business communities are involved uh, in, in the process. So these are some of the ways we can increase uh, Yunnan uh, Bangladesh trade. And of course, there is also uh, a message for our friend from embassy that we need to give more visas, uh, particularly the small, uh, you know, uh, not the big business uh, men. They have generally no problem to get visas, but for the uh, SMEs, micro enterprises, they face difficulties to get visas. So uh, the the final point on trade is that I mean, um, as you know, that joint study group uh, <coughs> of PCM is the main forum to uh, you know discuss this thing. Um, but at the same time, we can't ignore the bilateral uh, trade relations, as we as we as we as we mentioned. But two points I would like to highlight here is that one bilateral uh, issue, other one is multilateral. So bilateral is as I as I mentioned that China Bangladesh trade is uh, you know uh, imbalances highly favors China uh, because uh, we import uh, a lot but we export a little. So uh, China should relax rules of origins and other trade facilitation measures. And the next very critical issue that we should address this thing in, 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 in the Joint Study Group meeting of BCM, actually this also, uh, the reason why we should uh, reasonably cooperate is that recently you have noticed that there are some big uh, uh, mega trading blocks are emerging, what we call Trans-Pacific Alliance, TPP, TI, uh, TTIP, involving uh, you know, uh, trans-Atlantic countries. Even if I take an example, uh, Vietnam, who shares border with uh, China, they will be included in the TPP, but yeah, other countries like Bangladesh, uh, you know, Myanmar, they are, they are not there. So what would be the implications of, of the emergence of these mega trading blocks? We have to raise this issue in Joint Study Group meeting of BCI as far as trade is concerned. So these are the some points I have, uh, you know, uh, highlighted as far as trade is concerned. Uh, next, move on our, our, our discussion on investment. Investment is a very tricky. Uh, you know that currently uh, Chinese investment in Bangladesh, particularly from the mainland, is not very high. But we get we get a substantial amount of uh, investment from Hong Kong. So, uh, and, and, and Bangladesh has not actually you know, started investing outside, so you cannot expect that uh, outward investment from Bangladesh to other countries, including China, is their side of it. But uh, this investment figure probably doesn't reflect uh, the, the what's happening in the, on, the, on the ground. If you look at the, all the mega infrastructure projects uh, you know, uh, going through, as we speak, in Bangladesh, some way or other, Chinese companies are heavily involved here. The largest infrastructure project, Potma uh, Breeze, they will, I mean, it, uh, you know, constructed, that will connect two regions, including the one of the important route of uh, BCIM, is done, is, is done by Chinese company. <laughs> then four lane highways, and so many things, uh, uh, you know, the uh, capacity building of Chittagong Port, all these things are done by Chinese. And, and uh, China has uh, offered not only uh, to uh, invest in the big projects, uh, but also uh, now uh, government is negotiating a number of uh, uh, infrastructure projects to be financed by uh, Chinese, either Exim Bank or AIIB and so forth. So interestingly, you see a new kind of uh, competition in, in Bangladesh uh, with China and Japan. Particularly when it comes to you know a strategic infrastructure like deep sea port. Earlier we had a situation 
that uh, competition was confined between India and China. Now it has shifted more of more on China and Japan. So, as we discussed, that China has a policy, uh, what they call one belt, one road, or in short, OB, yeah? OB, OR. On the other hand, Japan also has come up under the Shinzo Abe's uh, uh, leadership, uh, uh, a plan for Bay Bengal, what they call Big Bay. So under the Big Bay project, Japan is investing, I mean, uh, heavily in, in the Bay Bengal region, be it in Myanmar, be it in Bangladesh, be it in India. So, uh, and, and if I can give you a concrete example, we have been, uh, you know, uh, we, we were, uh, you know, somehow we were convinced that last year when Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina visited uh, Kunming and uh, Beijing, the, a deal on deep sea port was supposed to be signed. But, uh, but the government faced a tremendous pressure from our neighboring countries and, and, and that project now apparently has, has to be you know, postponed, uh, building a deep sea port in Shonami. So now there is an alternative, alternative, uh, you know, the project which is, uh, uh, you know, uh, proposed by Japan and approved by the government of Bangladesh and China is, uh, sorry, Japan is going to invest uh, in, the, uh, in the limited scale deep sea port and energy infrastructure project. The site is not too far from, interestingly, not too far from Shonadiya. But, uh, as, as you know, the Bangladesh, as Bangladesh is growing uh, quite uh, steadily, about uh, six, six point five percent. Bangladesh needs more ports, so now government is uh, planning to uh, develop one more port called Paira, and 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 uh, uh, as far as we know, that uh, government is trying to involve uh, Chinese government or Chinese companies to involve uh, this to develop this port. But uh, my study on, on these uh, mega infrastructure projects uh, I mean, convinced me that all these things, other than Shunadiya, actually is the second best option. So, uh, so though there will be a, uh, there, there is a, uh, uh, I mean, there will Hopefully there will be a new uh, deep sea port, a limited scale deep sea port in Matarbari. But I am quite convinced that eventually we also need to think about uh, Shunadiya. Uh, it is just the regional geopolitics that limiting us uh, having this port at this stage of time. So we should not rule, rule out building of Shunadiya deep sea port. Because uh, international consultant while they did feasibility study on all the possible sites of deep sea port, Shunadiya featured number one in terms of economic feasibility. Uh, but as Bangladesh, you know that uh, it, Bangladesh's infrastructure is, is very poor. So, uh, and, and, and it, in terms of industrialization, it has long way to go. So the, now the government is trying to set up 100 uh, export processing zones. And, of them, two export processing zones to be, I mean, uh, to be allocated uh, exclusively for Chinese companies. One is in South Chittagong, and other one is South Dhaka. And ACNEC, which is our uh, one of the important uh, government institutions that approved the big project, they already have, uh, you know, approved uh, this economic zone in Chittagong for Chinese companies. So investors from Yunnan province uh, should liaise with embassy, uh, Chinese embassy in Bangladesh or uh, Bangladesh consulate office in Kunming about the possibility to invest uh, in, in, in this export processing zone or special economic zones. So now we'll, we'll move to finance. In our forum, uh, we never discuss about the importance of financial cooperation. So this is the first time we're going to introduce this subject in the, in the forum. Uh, as I said that uh, we have huge trade potential uh, with, with uh, I mean, China, Bangladesh, uh, trade are concerned. But 
the kind of trade relation we, we, we have noticed uh, actually there is a little uh, contribution by uh, financial innovation or China Bangladesh virtually doesn't have uh, you know the financial cooperation at this stage. But when we talk about uh, developing uh, one belt one road BCM economic corridor uh, alternative route uh, through Myanmar, we need huge investment. 